Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have Revenge of the Enemies. The mod overhauls the enemy AI in Skyrim and it's been designed to work alongside all other popular combat mods. It also does it all without using any scripts, so you can easily install and uninstall the mod without any trouble. The main aim of the mod is to make enemies more intelligent and to make enemies act as if they're actually fighting for their life. The author wondered why enemies wouldn't use everything at their disposal to save their lives, so now with the mod installed they should act more appropriately in the face of danger. You'll notice that mages will use the best and most effective spells in battle, and they'll also switch between a wider variety of spells mid-combat depending on the situation. NPCs will also use their daily racial abilities if they feel it would give them the advantage in combat. There are more subtle things too. For example, if you stumble upon a bandit with a pickaxe, normally he'd put it away and wield a one-handed sword with nothing in his other hand, but with the mod installed he'll keep the pickaxe in one hand and dual wield it alongside the sword. So with the mod you're much less likely to find enemies with one empty hand. On top of all of that, the enemies will have slightly more unpredictable movement, and use blocking and power attacks more often in combat. So you'll really have to pay attention to their behaviour and movement, which can be particularly challenging when there's multiple enemies. We found this particular feature to be much more noticeable compared to some of the other combat mods, and unlike in the vanilla game, you'll rarely, if at all, notice enemies just standing there while you hack away at them with your sword. Certain enemies will also make use of new special abilities which helps make them stand out in combat. For example, vampires will now use the Bat Transform ability to help them evade while in combat. Dwarven Spheres will also use more powerful artillery attacks, and certain Draugrs will use a wider variety of shouts, so not every shout you'll see is either Unrelenting Force or Flame Breath. As we switch from the vanilla Dwarven Spheres to with the mod installed, you'll notice they now move faster, attack more often, use more power attacks, and of course they'll now use ranged attacks. Bosses have also been made more unique with new detailed and complex AI to make them especially challenging. So Draugr bosses, Vampire bosses, Dragon Priests and all of the rest of them will come with unique strategies and abilities to give them the edge in combat. You can immediately see the difference as we switch from the vanilla Dragon Priest to one with the mod installed. It's much more aggressive, it buffs itself instantly and instead of firing just firebolts continually, it uses a variety of spells that deal both damage, debuff you and knock you back. As I already mentioned, the mod is compatible with nearly all other combat mods, including other popular mods like Skyrim Redone. The effects that the mod has alongside the other combat mods vary, but we tested it alongside Ultimate Combat and Enhanced Enemy AI. With all three installed, it seems enemies were extremely prone to dodging and were harder to hit in general. They also dealt frequent power attacks and used their daily powers and special abilities more often, which works especially well alongside Ultimate Combat because that makes you get knocked back if you get hit by a power attack. But overall, it really depends on what sort of effect you want the mods to have. Just keep in mind that Revenge of the Enemies tends to have an amplifying effect on the features that come with other combat mods that come with similar features. We also stumbled upon a newer mod that makes enemies chase and continue fighting you through water, so you can't just run across a shallow river to avoid a fight, which makes things slightly more realistic and challenging. So if you're interested in that too, then we'll include a link for it down below, and as always, be sure to leave an endorsement if you enjoy an author's mod, and thanks for watching.